The Winning Cures Everything College Football Playoff Predictions after week number nine. Now, Chris doesn't do number five and six, the people that are being left out. Because it doesn't matter. My five and six this week are Oklahoma and UCF. I think those two are being left out. I think they will be very close. Because I, I feel like UCF, if they beat Houston, I think that the committee will give them a lot of credit for that. So, I would like to see that, but it doesn't matter. It if, doesn't if, matter if they don't if, get into the top If they four. are five, it's all irrelevant. It's yeah. all moot. I, I do agree with you. Uh, let's go on and jump in. Uh, do we have the same? I'm sure we probably I don't know. I have no idea what you do anymore. All right. Well, at number four, I've got Michigan at number four. I've got Michigan at number four as well. I think they're going to win out. I think they're going to win the Big Ten. And with one loss, their only loss to what I have to be a Notre Dame that's undefeated team, I think there's no way you take them out. I, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Everything you just said, I do agree with that. Bam. Uh, now, number three, I've got Notre Dame. Because they're going to win out, and you think their schedule was not as good as Clemson's. No, I think that the committee will uh, look at same team or same. Uh, I'm going blank here. They'll look at a uh, 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 same opponents or whatever, okay. like a Florida State game, whatever. And Clemson will have looked better in those games that's than so Notre stupid. Dame. That's just a stupid way of doing it. That would, be, that would literally they, be the dumbest way to do it. They do that. But that's the and, dumbest way to do it. And I also think that Clemson will have that 13th data point that everybody makes such a big deal about. So they'll beat another bad ACC team because the ACC is really at bad. The, at the end of the day, who do you have? You've got Notre I've Dame. I've got Clemson three, I've got Notre Dame two, and I've got Alabama so, one. So what does the two, three matter at that point? I just who don't gets understand to wear their why. Colored jerseys? I just don't understand why you drop Notre Dame when they didn't do anything to deserve to be dropped. When it is absolutely factual that their strength of schedule is going to be light years better than Clemson's strength of schedule. Even with Clemson playing a 13th game, it will be light years better than Clemson's strength of schedule. I you don't can know say that it you, will. You can say USC is not a good team. USC, USC is, is garbage. Better, USC is better than half of the ACC. No if, question. If they finish six you can and say six, that are Stanford's they really? not. You can say Stanford's not great. Stanford is better than... 80% of the ACC, no question about that. Northwestern, Northwestern, same thing. Like, like I don't know how you can possibly get, in Michigan, better than all of them, probably better than Clemson. And they've got to win over them. they got to win over another playoff team, and you just, you just drop them because you saw Northwestern beat a team that used to be good, that no, used to this, be famous for being good by fifty something points, and all of a sudden, this is not that's my all top ten. I see. This is not. This is a prediction I based know. on what the committee will do, and this is what I think the committee, the committee the, will do. I know they won't because Notre Dame is the biggest name in college football. When Notre Dame is good nationwide, they yes. are bigger than Alabama. There's a reason why they were the CBS night game, like national game of the week, playing at Navy. It's right, like correct. I understand that, but so I also think that the playoff that. committee wants Notre Dame to be in a conference. No, I don't think the playoff committee cares. I think that it makes. I think there's probably enough people that are Notre Dame fans that grew up Catholic and love this shit to say, "Nope, whatever they do is gold." You might be right. They're a bunch of we'll old see. people, Gary. You the the playoff committee is not made up of millennials that think things out. They see things the way they were when they were kids because you can't help but do that. And Notre Dame would well, be... Notre Dame would... Pro I mean, there's a really good chance that if Alabama, if Alabama beats LSU by a field goal and then somehow beats Auburn by a field goal and then beats Georgia in the SEC title game by a field goal, there are people in that room that are going to say, Notre Dame got to be number one. Notre Dame, the Golden <laughs> Domers. That's because that's all they know and that's all they remember. That's what they think of college football when they think of the heydays of college football because they're 60 years old, and that's and that's not a knock on 60-year-olds. It's just they they see football far more than what you and I have seen football. You might be entirely right. And you also fall into recency bias more than anybody when I, I know. I, that committee is not doing that. This is that not, committee doesn't care that they beat NC State and Florida This State. won't be based on recency bias. This is based on that 13th data point. I think they will give. Clemson. If you were in the room, what would you do? 
you'd still put Clemson there. Because I think you're I might a fool. put Clemson there because you're a damn fool. That's our that's our recap. That's our, <laughs> that's, our that's our that's our top. Four. Alabama number one. So Alabama, Michigan, and then Clemson against Notre Dame. Yeah. And, and it doesn't and matter who same. wins that game. It doesn't matter who wins that game. Does it make one person right or one person wrong? Stats, factual information makes one of us right and one of us wrong. And we'll we'll get to that point eventually. No, we're getting close no, to the end of the not. season. We're there now. We're right there right now. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I know. I hear that a lot. That's by the way. It's because I don't like fighting with you. I do end up being wrong several I, times, I just, but don't act I, like you ain't ever been wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm always it. wrong. But when I'm when I'm when I'm willing, when all right, when I'm making a prediction, let's let we got like four or five minutes to kill on this. When I'm when I'm making a prediction about the future, it's easy to be wrong because because nobody knows what's really going to happen. When I have seen what I have seen and I know what's happening, <laughs> that, I'm not I'm dying on that hill. I'm just dying on that hill. There's not a single win in Clemson's schedule that would be bigger than Michigan's win. Not one. Then the Notre Dame's win over Michigan. The Notre Dame's win over Michigan. Not there won't be. No, they right. just won't, they can't do it. No, it's it's impossible. There's not a win on Clemson's schedule that'll be bigger than Stanford's win that Notre Dame had over them. I mean, there might be on that. There might not be if Northwestern is the Big Ten. Whatever over Michigan, they got it for Northwestern too. Yeah. So so what are we talking about? Clemson's a really good football team. Their schedule is garbage. And that's not their fault. This is not a hatred on Clemson. I can't help that the ACC sucks. But if they both go undefeated, the team that actually played really good teams has to be ranked higher than the team that played nobody. I thought A&M was good. They just got shellacked by Mississippi State. That's got like four losses. I think if Clemson looked as bad now as they did early in the season, then, They look yeah. good against bad teams, though, man. They I haven't played anybody that. to they, look good against. They beat, they beat A&M by two points on the road. They beat Florida State they by beat 50. They beat Syracuse. But everybody has beaten Florida State by 50. Like, a Not lot everybody. of people like, have beaten Florida State by Virginia 50. Virginia Tech absolutely smoked them out, yeah. And for, Vitek's not real good. But uh, but Vitek only beat them like 24 to 3. So that matters. So, so, like, that's so Clemson the difference. beat them by 35 more points or whatever. But that, so. at some point in time, you got to realize the game is over and one team's continuing to play yeah. and the other team's just trying to get guys not hurt. Like, so you can't penalize those teams for that. Oh, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. You beat somebody by 20. You beat somebody by 25. You handily win the game. The difference between twenty and a hundred is nothing. No, you're okay. You're right. You're right. We agree, but I don't want to hear. All right, you, we agree though, right? No, we, okay. yes, I do agree with okay. that. I do agree. As long as you, un, yeah, you like agree. the difference between winning by twenty eight and winning by forty nine is, is really just like betters. Who, right? yeah, the who spread. tried? Who tried? Yeah, who tried to? Because if you the twenty nine team wanted to beat them by fifty, they probably could have. They just chose. Hey, I'm going to get these other guys some reps. I'm very curious to see what Clemson does against Boston College. That's what I want to see. And I want I, to see what Notre Dame does against Syracuse and Northwestern. I don't, I don't know that, that, that schedule – now, I don't know that Notre Dame can run win out because I think I think Syracuse is really good. I think Northwestern's really good. Like I, think, I, I think Notre Dame's I, better than they are, though. I, do, so. I think they're better than both of them. They'll be favored to win, but anyway. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, our playoff prediction got heated this week. And well, it just came after a ridiculous top ten. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I understand that. That is our Winning Cures Everything playoff predictions after college football's week nine. We'll be back later this week with picks, previews, and a whole lot more.